Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word and the Daily Prophetic Word for Saturday the 7th of December 2019 is A line must be drawn. A line must be drawn and you must make a decision. Either you will stand with me or you will serve the enemy in this world. Many of my children are misled by their shepherds who not only tolerate the world but also encourage their sheep to do worldly things. Woe to you shepherds who are leading my sheep astray. A line must be drawn. As on Mount Carmel, the people had to decide either to stay with the wicked king Ahab and his satanic wife Jezebel or to separate themselves from the evil world and to stand with my anointed one, Elijah. As soon as they decided to stay with me and truly separated themselves from the followers of Baal, I did mighty miracles in their place. A line must be drawn. Today, you are standing on Mount Carmel and you are facing a decision that will determine your eternity. Will you stand with me or will you remain in the world and stand with the Antichrist? You must decide today because tomorrow is not guaranteed. Do not follow your false prophets who are telling you that nothing can happen to you and that I am tolerating and promoting your worldly businesses. They are liars, and I warned you many times that false Christs will come and will deceive many. Choose today whom you will serve. And this was a daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit for Saturday the 7th of December 2019. A line must be drawn. And you, you personally, every one of you, my brothers and sisters, all of you will draw that line. You have to make your own decision. Either to remain as you are now, look warm with one leg in the world, one leg in heaven, and hoping for the best, or stepping out of the world, separating yourself for the Lord, and having a guaranteed place in paradise. Yes, the great exodus will not be easy for many people. Also, it is only a spiritual move through the wilderness. But still, it is a wilderness. And still you have to rely on complete faith to the Lord that he will provide. And that he will give you manna and quails and water. And that he will never fail you. It's a matter of complete faith. But you have to walk in spirit and truth, because only the truth will set you free. And you have to show what your heart is feeling and what your heart is telling you, because Jesus is living in your heart. And if your heart is telling you you have to help the needy, then you are doing the righteous deeds of the saints. And this is not written that the white garment that you will receive are the righteous deeds of the saints. Have the saints not done all this before you and given you a great example? Has Jesus not done this one and has even given you a greater example of the love of the Father? So why are you not spreading the love? Why are you keeping everything for yourself? Why are you not going into your neighborhoods and lift up the needy and invite them to your dwelling places of Zion? To train and teach them and to make disciples out of them and send them then into the neighborhoods to bring more needy and nameless and faceless. Has the Lord not said that the last will be the first? Why are you not listening what the Lord has said? Why are you talking about doctrines, and most of them are man-made doctrines, instead to show your heart to the people, show that you are a changed person, and show how a true Christian will be? A true Christian is filled with love. And not love for himself, but love for others. Love your neighbor as yourself. And love our Father above everything else. Can you do that? Can you be close to Jesus? Can you be almost like Jesus? A great copy of Jesus. Can you do that? Can you go into the world and say, My Father in heaven has sent me to lift you up. Can you do that? Can these words come out of your mouth? Is that possible? 
and you go to a needy person today and say, take my hand. The Lord, God Almighty, has sent me today to lift you up and to give you a new future. Can you do that? Many people cannot. What they do, they say, oh, we are the children of Jesus and nothing will happen to us. In the same way as in Luke 3, the people said, oh, but we are the children of Abraham and so we are already qualified. And then Luke said, hmm, if you are the children of Abraham, then the Lord can raise even stones to make them children of Abraham. If you do not bring forth fruit and if you do not repent, then your being children of Abraham will count nothing. Read Luke 3. It is written there very strongly. He rebuked very strongly the people who said, but we are children of Abraham. And today the people say, but we are children of Jesus. Nothing will happen to us. And so we say to them today again, repent, obey, abide in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Take your cross, change your life, come out of, out of the world and walk that narrow path. Because a narrow path is a holy path and the narrow path is not a worldly pass, but it's a heavenly pass, filled with spirit and with truth and with power and with your kind of glory. But you are not walking that pass. You're walking the pass of lust, of temptations, of careers, of businesses, of money, of Christmas presents, of Black Friday, of Thanksgiving, and all this what you do. So come out of this world and out of Babylon, out of your churches that lull you into sleep. Come out. Your decision is here now. Draw a line. Take that pen right now and draw that line. And do never cross it again into the world. Thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. And I know I will see you again tomorrow. Because in the moment, the Holy Spirit is giving one message after the other. And you must hear it. And you must obey. This is your final calling before the new Pharaoh, the Antichrist, will come. Your final call. Your call to duty. Your call into the battle. Your call onto the harvest fields. Do not ignore it. Thank you. Praise the Lord, praise our Abba Father for all the knowledge and wisdom he is giving us and for the help that he is showing us and for every spiritual thing that he is giving us and for every love that he shows us and for the small things, the small encounters that we have every day with true faithful people who are doing that work for a long time but were never shown in the public. All of these people will shine now. All of these people will come forth. All of these who are before the last, who are trampled down by all the people of this world, of the riches and all the mighty pastors, and all will fall. But you and me, the small ones, we will raise to glory over glory and over glory. Because the Lord will be seen in us and the people will see our lights and like moths they will be drawn to that light and they will come and seek us out for our knowledge and our wisdom and in this way as an example we will bring in the harvest of the ages thank you i know sometimes i cannot stop but that is because the holy spirit is giving me more and more and more i wish i could talk to you in person But thank you that you're here with me every day. Please spread the messages. Let us go out. Let us be the powerful tool of the Lord. Let us gather the people and take them out of the world forever and ever and onto the heavenly path and into paradise and into New Jerusalem and into Mount Zion. Let us be together with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us escape from this world and let us be the bride of Jesus. Today, hack him even if it's only in the spirit, but hug him. Put your arms around him and say, Jesus, 
I love you. And he will say, I love you too. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.